All right, guys. So it's been a long day. I've been here since 7:45. Tried island. I tried uh, landing up there. I tried island again. Funny story. So I went by the uh, the landing, and sure enough, found a whole bunch of stuff. But as soon as I got up and went to get my camera, couldn't find my phone. And so I, you know, basically emptied out my gear bag. Didn't see it. Um, okay, well, hopefully it's not in the water. Uh, maybe I left it on the hood of my car. I was talking to somebody at my car. Run back up there. No. Unlock my car. No, it's not in there. Uh, it's got to be in the water then. So I go back, throw all the stuff away that I found. It was, it was mainly just garbage. Uh, but a recap of what I did find, I found several glass bottles, one of them broken, just ready to cut somebody. Uh, some rope, a cinder block with a rope on it someone used as an anchor, a wheel of a trailer tire, lots of fishing line, hooks, weights, a control box for some sort of electricity something, a uh, piece of a reel, shoes, a tire that was too far buried for me to get up, and that was pretty much it, just trash. Um, I did find a pack of unopened hand warmers, uh, but yeah, obviously, you know, trash. So, when I get back to my car, lo and behold, my phone is on the roof of my car. I had apparently set it on the roof of my car while I was talking to that lady, and completely forgot about it. But, I'm very happy that it's not in the water because here I am now. I was thinking, man, I'm not gonna have a video now and I've lost my phone. Well, now I just don't have a whole lot to show y'all. Uh, pretty much the only thing I found that I'm able to, you know, actually show you at this point because I threw everything else away was this good old Grizzly Premium Winter Green Long Cut. Now, I shake it and you hear there's there's water in there but it's a little heavier than the water should be so what I'm gonna do for y'all is go ahead and open this I'm at the trash can now this is gonna be disgusting just a heads up yes, it is. okay I don't know if y'all are ready for this. That is a river sludge and dip. Mm. That is delicious right there. Yeah, um, sorry for the disappointing video, but I would like to take this moment just to say that we have got to do better about our trash. Now, I know the wind's blowing, so hopefully y'all can hear me when I say this. This is not helping the fact that the river is already pretty disgusting. It's it's flowing down from Atlanta. Lord knows what's in it up there. I don't even want to think about it, honestly, because I'm swimming in it. And every now and then it gets in your mouth, and that's, that's real good. Always make sure and uh, not swallow that. In case you don't want a parasite if you want a parasite go ahead and drink some but i'd rather not but back to the point we need to do better about throwing stuff away and that's not just to say in the river that's everywhere i'll be driving down the road and there's this trash outside of the road now understand sometimes it blows out of the back of your truck if it's you know a light bag of something or like a cup that got tossed into the bed of the truck Okay, like you don't, you might not realize that, but when you blatantly throw your McDonald's out on the highway, right out of your driver window, you are one of the worst types of people there are. Now, this channel is about adventuring, and you know, once it gets colder, there'll be some camping and hiking, and maybe some rock climbing if so I can find people to go with me. Um, I've got my GoPro on the way. It's got a bicycle mount too, so. I'll uh, record some of my rides and 
some of the views that I see on my rides and they're pretty cool um, and <laughs> obviously I'll be able to go under the water with it I do have the underwater case it's uh, even got a remote that I can control it with instead of having to reach up and press the button I just have to hit the button on the remote to start recording and hit it when I want to stop and I can record a whole lot that way so I'm really excited about that but back to the message the message from my channel what I want to do with this channel is spread the word on throwing things away properly. I will tell you right now, I'm not the best at recycling, but I don't litter. Not recycling and littering, two totally different things. When you litter, that leaves it out in the open for animals to eat. If you throw out your plastics, it takes hundreds of years for that to decompose. So recycle your plastics if you can. When it comes to water, any body of water, not just the Chattahoochee, when you're on your boat, cracking some cold ones with the boys, don't let it go overboard. And if it does and you notice, pick it up. A can is going to float there for a, a few seconds. Actually, a decent amount of time. Enough time for you to turn around and go grab it and throw it away properly. Glass bottles, you shouldn't have those in your boat anyways. You shouldn't have glass when you're on the water. You shouldn't have glass when you're around the water. Because things do happen. You do drop them every now and then. It's rare. And it's a shame if, you know, it wasn't empty. Um, but it, if you drop that bottle on these rocks out here, it's going to break. And when we, we all know that when glass breaks, it goes everywhere. And we know that broken glass will cut you. It will seriously hurt you. And I'm down here and there's kids everywhere swimming and gallivanting and having fun. What happens when one of them cuts their foot really badly on a piece of glass and they're in that water? Their foot is going to get majorly infected. They're probably going to have to go to the hospital. It's just not a good time. So do your part in keeping things clean. Throw things away the way you're supposed to. Animals eat these things you see all the time in the ocean, all this trash that animals get stuck in. There's the, uh, the famous picture of the turtle that had the the can plastic stuck on it uh, from the time it was little and it got stuck inside it and it grew into an hourglass shape it was deformed and unhealthy because someone didn't throw those rings away after having cut them they just threw the whole thing away so in regards to the plastic rings cut them cut them to where it's one long strand and we can avoid that in short throw things away the way you're supposed to don't be irresponsible be one of these people who just doesn't care while you may not like the world we live in politically you need to care about it in a natural aspect if we ruin this planet by all of our garbage and our waste we don't have another planet to fall back on not in our lifetime um, but that's another topic altogether um, I will say I'll be back up here with my friend Micah um, give him a follow or a uh, subscribe his channel is Lost Lizard L-O-S-T-L-I-Z-A-R-D uh, it's a new channel just like mine we're both trying to you know, get him started get him growing uh, so go ahead and give him a subscribe comment on uh, his video I, I believe he has one or two up right now um, a comment and tell him that Pooch sent you. Uh, I'm sure it'll mean the world to him, and um, I know I'll be very appreciative if you can help my buddy out. But yeah, just throw things away the way that you're supposed to. At least act like you care. If not for yourself, for everyone else. You might not care, but everyone else does. So if you have any type of a heart, any type of morals do the right thing recycle if you can no glass around the water cut those plastic rings throw away your plastics not in the river pick up your cans don't throw trash out on the side of the road it can wait until you get wherever you're going if you need to throw it away bad enough pull into a gas station they have tr uh, trash cans there that's all it takes. It's not that difficult. 
but anyways um, like I said Micah and I will be out here tomorrow morning um, I may not have a video tomorrow it may come later this week I have some uh, some more dives that I'll be going on uh, through the week so until then see you later thanks for watching